Hey guys, welcome to the Big Talk with Austin. Thank you very much for Bryce for joining me this episode. We got a lot of stuff to talk about. We got like PlayStation VR 2 um, in the works, which is a which is really cool. Um, we got some DC more DCU talk, um, more Disney Plus talk. A lot of this topics is also going to be just about game topics. Like we got um, GTA topics. Uh, a lot we got a lot of stuff to talk about so hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode so let's get right into it the flash uh, season seven has premiered wednesday i believe if that's correct tuesday tuesday okay and so i didn't get to watch it until yet last night i believe and and after just the first viewing i don't like it i i don't i don't know if you're a huge flash fan or anything yeah. like that but I mean, I like the first two seasons. It's just this first episode. It's like it's not. I don't, we're not going to get into like any spoilers or anything. But this first episode is like you did everything with the wrong characters. Like if you know what I mean. Like there's like a really emotional scene. It's like that. Why I don't really care about those two. Like why do we, we need? Why is those two here? Why are like you know Cisco and yeah. Caitlin there? Yeah. Um, for this emotional moment and so it just kind of throws everything out the window and it also kind of feels like they did this too soon i think this was supposed to be also part of the finale for the last season as well because covid um i don't think that was actually the finale that we got so i think they just said have this start off i wish they could have like you know maybe changed certain things around um because i think they did filming during covid so they could have you know did something where like they could have saved this specific scene for like later on in the season. And so, but they don't, they just put it here. And so it comes out of the left field and it's like, wait, where did you get this? I get your, I get, I get the reason on how you got it, but like, because of who you are, but how exactly, where did this come from? It doesn't really make any sense because they have um, this machine that can give, you know, very his, you know speed back and it's already done it's like did i miss a couple episodes like what like what happened true, like, true. it just seems like a big time jump happened so yeah i don't know but i feel like this because sh- is this like the finale for the flash or are they talking about for like another season or two because i feel like yeah i think flash is dead at this point i mean it may have been renewed i want to say it was i'm not quite sure but yeah, so, I mean, what I thought of it, I mean, I'm kind of almost in the same boat as you. So, just to make sure, did you see, like, all the seasons of The Flash? Yes, I've okay. I've, I've seen, like, every single season. Uh, okay. even, I, even the bad one, like, uh, with, uh, what's the, the mind, what's his name? Like, the mind dude, uh, I forget. Oh, uh, shoot, shoot. Uh, the, the worst villain of all of them. Oh, gosh, yeah. Okay, yeah, So what? so what I thought, I mean... It, it definitely was not my favorite premiere at all. Mm-hmm. I, I much preferred Superman and Lois. But so I haven't seen that yet. I heard that's good. I definitely suggest that. It's amazing. But all right, we're talking about the Flash. So I mean, all's wells that ends wells. I mean, it it definitely wasn't my favorite. It kind of sucked that we were missing Caitlin and Cisco. But like my biggest grievance with it, like I still can't get over it, is losing Hartley Sawyer, like Ralph Dibney, like. Oh, he was my favorite character. It's just I think he, I, I'm, he could return. I mean, there's been not, other. Th- I mean, like the character can return. There's like yeah. other theories going on. If the actor returns, uh, like I mean, that's not- I don't get. I don't. Re- I don't remember the reasoning he got fired for. Uh, I remember talking about. It. I just don't remember the actual reasoning for it. And if if they gave it like a little, you know, if they gave it a little bit more time, and I think people yeah. might accept him back. I mean, um, James Gunn, he got his job back. So, yeah. And that, well, I mean, how long was that? Like two months after he got It fired? wasn't long, yeah. So, uh, I, he's definitely not going to be in this season because I think they no. recorded without him. Yeah, they're going to so, have a different actor play him. And next when, and next when everything just, you know, passes with COVID, maybe in 2022, he can return for one more season. And next that could be like the finale season, just, you know, the habit like yeah. that um so i don't know not the best premiere ever i no, mean i not. it was still like an emotional scene 
Oh yeah. Um, but it was just like it would have been a lot more if Cisco and Caitlin were there. Most and definitely. So, and I feel like we might have, you know, spoiled it at this point, but I feel like, <laughs> um, so I guess speaking of other, uh, DC topics, one is that Wonder Bros doesn't, um, is not impressed with the Zack Snyder Justice League. Um, so I'm not like looking forward for the Zack Snyder Justice League. It's not like on my top tier list of like, you know, this year, but I'm still willing to watch it. But after like, <laughs> you know hearing about this it's like i i kind of expected wonder bros to say this um it's like it, it's a big slap in their face but at the same time your name is still on it so why are you saying crap about Zack snyder <laughs> when your name is still on you know the project and so it makes absolutely no sense for them even though they're doing a reboot for the dcu with a new superman actor oh yeah and- and so there's a whole bunch of stuff like that. Um, so it says like parent. It says like right here, um, w, uh, WB apparently has a serious lack of faith in the project, and simply want it uh, want it to go away. <laughs> Do you not want money? I mean, <laughs> I, I guess yeah, I, mean, I don't know. And, and so and it says, uh, and, and I guess this probably gives the reason why they dropped the news about. Um, J.J. Abram is working on a Superman reboot, so it's like, hey, don't forget about you know, forget about the Snyder Cut. We, we're we're doing something good. We're we're re- rebooting Superman again. I mean, I mean, it's it's going to be like another seven years they reboot it everything again. So <laughs> I don't know. I mean, what's your thoughts on the Zack Snyder Cut? Like, if like on all of that type of stuff. I mean, like you i'm not that excited for it like i'll definitely watch it maybe in like it's gonna be, i heard it's gonna be four hours so like maybe in mm-hmm. like two or three sittings possibly oh, yeah. like so i mean i hear they're gonna be like changing the look of what steppenwolf possibly i don't know about are they changing the look of doomsday uh yeah they should be changing well no dooms hmm no doomsday is already dead um so but I yeah mean, like, no i mean they they're changing the look of um you mean steppenwolf like how he originally looked and he the, still looks the same he just has metal on him oh like a okay. different i mean so like, like it's not like a big difference yeah really and he kind of and it still doesn't really even look that good from the trailers and i mean i get the I, i'm like friends with like a like the big comic nerds of the DCU is like, well, they were just, that's like still like the production errors. Like they're not, it's not fully done. Like it's fully done. Trust me. They, they wouldn't be, they wouldn't release a unfinished, you know, the number one big problem unfinished. And so I feel like stepping, I feel like the CGI is still going to be a little bit bad because even though they, they say it's supposed to be his own movie, I have a feeling it isn't going to be his own movie because from the trailers, it still looks like it's going to end the same way. It's still going to have like this other look. Well, I mean, I guarantee like the first maybe two hours, it'll be like Justice League and next everything yeah. else will be, you know, what we got like in the desert and all that. So, and I, I, that's probably the reason why it's four hours because, you know, if they've just released, you know, Zack Snyder's cut of the Justice League that we got, people are not going to change their minds. It's still going to be as bad because you I mean, it's not going to be that different. And so, except for like, you know, little scenes throughout the film. And that's um, basically like my problem with BVS. I hate, I don't like BVS and I get so much complaints about like how I don't like the ultimate edition. It's like, it's just like, it's just like a couple more minutes of scenes that could have changed the film, but it didn't really, add that much even though it kind of it just kind of ruins a little bit of lex's plan i don't know if you like bvs or anything like that um oh but yeah <laughs> I, don't I mean i i i thought it was okay i mean like my favorite part of it was ben affleck's batman i loved his batman mm-hmm. yeah i'm um, well we have two more weeks until you know everything uh, comes to close with you know the Justice League and Zack Snyder and probably Zack Snyder's last D- DC uh, stuff. Um, okay, 
uh, Disney topics so we can just get the, you know, these big superhero stuff out of the way. Um, uh, Falcon and the Winter Soldier is around the corner. That comes out Next in week, two right? weeks. Oh, I think two, two weeks. weeks as well. Okay. And so WandaVision just ended. Um, yeah. So, and that ended not really the, in the best way, in my opinion. I feel like it could have yeah, ended it, a little bit better. It but, could have been better, but I mean, it was pretty good. Um, yeah, the, the, the series <laughs> it was, was really pretty good. good. Yeah. Um, but, and so it wasn't like the number, like one thing I was like looking forward to. It was definitely like, you know, Falcon and the Winter Soldier and Loki and all that type, type of stuff. So I'm yeah. looking forward to this. Um, like, so I don't know really that much about it besides it takes place sometime after Endgame and it's about like the mantle of uh, Captain America. So I don't know. What's your thoughts on? you know, the Falcon, Falcon, the Winter Soldier, like, what do you think? Yo, I mean, I, I'm excited for it. Like, it, it's interesting how they're calling him the Winter Soldier, because I, I would have thought it would have been White Wolf, but I guess he's going back to that. Because I, I mean, I figure he would be White Wolf. Maybe this will set up his name for White Wolf, because he's technically still a terrorist at this point. Yeah. Um. So... Well, well, he's not a terrorist, but in the public eye, he's a he is a terrorist. So, um, I mean, it's. I wonder if somehow they're gonna mind control him again because, like, as a win- the Winter Soldier, he was. Pretty I mean, bad evil. the villain of this uh, series Zemo's is Zemo, so he yeah. knows the uh, he knows All like the way that. to to do it. So he, there, there might be at some point because like, there's some point in the trailer where falcon drops these bullets so as he pulls the trigger or is about to pull the trigger it's too late and next he's like empty and he drops all his bullets because he's you know mine were away erase and so at some point i don't know um but it definitely looks interesting i can't wait for it um i'm hoping it's not like just like a stereo i'm hoping it's like a good cop and bad cop type of tv show okay um so because i i like i like well i like like you know what's the I'm trying to think of the movie but i like the you know the like the side cop type of movie oh, like bad boys or yeah something? Mm-hmm, definitely um but i mean we still got a little while are you looking forward to loki more well, like what show are you looking forward to the most because like there's she hulk that i completely forgot about oh yeah she hulk okay yeah i'm definitely excited for that one that, that's going to be really interesting to see because, I mean, she's not going to be a big lady. She's going to be like a normal sized woman. But like, is she going to be green? Like, is she, she's green all the time, right? I, I have not read a She-Hulk comment. Yeah, so I, I have not know. either. But like, I'm pretty sure she is like and she's an attorney. Like, I wonder if she's going to be walking in that room. All... Uh, well, is she related to Bruce or no i don't think so I, f- I forget her name man i don't know she's not but I, th- I think bruce is gonna be in it mark ruffalo mm-hmm. i heard and something there, about that and like there have been rumors about possibly bringing in jessica jones right. oh yeah from the netflix tv show yeah okay. yeah which i think that would be awesome i mean but, but i don't know i feel like that one's probably going to be the weakest one um yeah. out of all of them but I mean, I'm I'm most excited for Falcon and the Winter Soldier, of course. Loki oh, will be cool. Oh, but... for sure. Yeah, I feel like Loki will be like the turning point of for the MCU. I feel like WandaVision is the setup for Phase Four, but I feel like Loki will give us more information what we will we be expecting in like the movies, especially Black Widow. Um, so yeah. which is finally coming out. Hopefully, it doesn't get delayed anymore. Yeah, I know, right? Like it, it's been. Oh my goodness, it's been so long since um, a MCU movie. Let's see. Okay, you can save fifty percent uh, off of Paramount Plus subscription. I why? <laughs> uh, no, one, what what mo- good movies that Paramount have made? I mean, they released you know um, was they released Coming to America two already, okay. and that's on. Um, Amazon Prime. Why is that not on uh, Paramount Plus? Which is bad anyway. That's not going to force anyone to go, you know, get a subscription anyway. Yeah. So, don't see 
don't see uh, coming to America. It's the second one. The first one is great. You can go watch that. That's on Amazon Prime as well. But don't go watch the second one. It's, it's bad. Um, but, you know, I feel like streaming services are now going to be big with, you know, because Disney Plus proven like, hey, you know, this certain way, like, cause now, cause you need a premium, cause now Disney's doing like a premium access type of deal. You know, they just released a new movie. I don't know, know the name of it. It reminded me a lot of like um, Mulan or something like that. And on that, in oh, that I don't lines. Know. and where you still have to pay like 30 bucks for it. I don't Jeez. know. I don't know how good it is or anything like that. I'm not going to, I'm not going to pay for that. I'm not paying 30 bucks when I can go see in the theaters right now for like $10. Yeah. So, I mean, they make money either way, but they probably expected to get more money through Disney plus with that stuff. And so I feel like Paramount plus will be the first streaming service to, you know, cause you know, people have been talking about like, what's the first years that's going to go out of business and people have been saying AMC and like these small the I mean, I think it's the small theaters might live a little bit longer just because like, you know, they're not that very well big uh, known, but you know, like the surrounding area that the people live in might just go to it because it's nearby. Um, but, but AMC. So if streaming services, you know, if things go back to, uh, if things go back to normal and people go to the theaters more, I feel like Paramount plus be like the first thing to go. Cause like, they have nothing all their star yeah. trek stuff is terrible and so well besides the movies but the show is so bad um and they have uh beavis and butthead but yeah i mean that's not gonna change anything um nickelodeon stuff right nickelodeon. i think so they have like a spongebob movie as well that's supposed like, to be coming out i know like isn't the i carly revival gonna be only on that what's revival have you, you saw, did you see Ari Carly? I've seen Ari Carly. It's on so, Netflix. So it's going to be kind of returning with um, Miranda Cosgrove and Nathan Cress. The, um, I yeah. can't remember the, any of the uh, names of the characters. And then, yeah, so Carly, Freddie, Spencer. Oh, okay. Sam's not going to be in it because that actress, Jeanette McCurdy, she apparently hated acting and like while in I Carly. Oh, I think what ruined it was uh, Sam and uh, what is it? Sam and Cat. I think that's what ruined it for her because that only had like oh, yeah. one or two seasons and that was yeah. so bad. But and so, I mean, I'll if, subscribe to Paramount when that comes out, but probably not uh, until then. No, that's just going to be like another like coming, coming to America 2 type of deal. I don't want that, especially without Sam, without, you know, her bowling Fred. I yeah, think I that's, I think that would. It'll be, be the same. I, I think it'll, if they can make a deal with her, you know, just just give her your whole entire budget. I don't know, make make give her a reason to pay for rent or something. <laughs> what does she do now? Gosh, I don't I don't remember. I th- no, I think she's like kind of more more behind the scenes in film and okay, like directing, writing, possibly. Okay, I don't know that much about her, so I don't know what she. Yeah, does. I don't. I don't know either, but. I mean, if they want to re- if they want to bring back the show for some odd reason, I don't remember how the show ended. How did they go? Did they go to jail? No, that's I don't know. I, I, I didn't so. even see the video. I still have not seen it. <laughs> it's, I can't believe it. Uh, I know it was like I goodbye. Uh, so I guess they ended it. Yeah, that's I don't know about that. Um, but I guess speaking of bringing back stuff, Harry Potter sequels, Warner Media C- uh, CEO on the possibility of expanding the franchise at HBO Max. We don't need more Harry Potter stuff. We have Fantastic Beasts. I mean, the first one was good. The second one sucked. <laughs> I don't, I mean, I feel like the Harry Potter fan base is dying. I mean, it's not as huge as it, it's not, well, it's not as huge as it used to be. It's definitely a lot smaller now. And so, yeah. uh, I feel like if you just bring back, I don't know, if, I don't remember, I don't remember seeing if they said like the original actors will return. Um, but most likely not. I most, mean, it's yeah. possible, I, but because they did, because um, J.K. Rowling did come out with a book about Harry Harry's son. Yeah, he goes through some stuff. I don't know what Her that's child. all about. 
Yeah, but the thing is, um, Snape was featured prominently in that, and yeah. with Alan Rickman's yeah. passing, I just, I just don't think that's gonna happen. No, they could say he retired or something. Like they don't have to go based off the books because I feel like, yeah, I don't think some of the, I think some of the movies didn't even go directly off the books either. Yeah, but he was like a huge part in that. Play. CGI him, I guess. I don't know. Uh, do, I don't, I don't know. That went a hand well with people. But like though. the thing, I think what they're probably gonna end up going with is the Marauders. Because everybody like wants that. I'm trying to think of that. I'm no, I don't know what exactly oh. that is. So that's um Harry's father, James, like oh okay. Messer's Mooney Worm Foot Wormtail Padfoot and Prongs, like the Murder's map. That's like, not well a series what, about them in school. Uh well that that would just be a prequel, but uh, it because it says here sequels. Um sequel, but I'm I mean I don't know. I, I don't know. I like, can't see else? because here. well, like Harry's the chosen one. He was supposed to bring, I guess, peace, sort of. And so it's kind. Of, I mean, it's kind of been. So if they continue on from after Deathly All's Part Two, it kind of ruined the whole purpose of the franchise. I don't know what. The, I mean, there's probably something with and like with Harry's son, and because it's called because in the book. It, it's something where he his son was cursed or something, and I don't know if Fulmer got involved or something like that. Yeah. Um, the cur- I think the cursed child was actually um Voldemort's child. Voldemort got involved. Oh god, this is getting me like PTSD. Him, Voldemort, and Bellatrix. They had a child. They had a child. Did they? Uh, yeah. Now, now I'm just thinking of Palpatine having sex with someone. Um, <laughs> Jeez, I don't know that. I don't like that. I mean, it's it's weird. I don't know. I mean, like if if you if if you wanted it, if it had to take place after Harry, uh, if it had to take place after Deathly Hollows Part Two, where would you want it to go? Like, how could they, you know, I mean, take it? Because there's there, I can't think of anything that they could do. Uh, I mean, they still I, haven't finished. The, uh, they still haven't finished Fantastic Beasts. So I so guess like, I mean, possibly something that takes place. I mean, right after, like almost right after. Like, how did they get on after the Battle of Hogwarts? You know, like, like how did Harry and, and Ron like end up becoming Aurors? What did Hermione do? Like, how did just the whole thing? Like, like how did Teddy became, grow up? They became like, office workers. So- that's the whole entire seat. That's what it's. That's gonna be the whole entire movie is about. <laughs> it, working in an office. It's gonna be the office, but Harry Potter. <laughs> yeah, that's. I don't know. That's. No, I mean, um, it'd be cool because it's a good nineteen years that we really don't know almost anything about. How old is his son when they go to school at the end? Uh, eleven. Well, Albus is eleven. He is older. Older yeah. kid that's already in school. Yeah. So, I don't know. I sound, I feel like Wonder Bros just doesn't know what they're want to do anymore, so they're like sequels, maybe yeah. mm-hmm. uh, reboots. Yeah, it'll, it'll make money. Yeah, uh, yeah, no it what it would. People will watch it. Um. Okay, video game topics. Uh, so no. Need for Speed has been delayed to focus on the next Battlefront EA. Um. I haven't really played. No, not Battlefront. Battlefield. Sorry, Ugh, that, that would have been interesting. Then, um, I'm not. I haven't played the Battlefield games. I've never really got into them. Um, I played I a little bit of Need for Speed, but I feel like they're just. I don't know. EA is one of those companies. People people won't care. It's like I'll still go buy it. Doesn't matter. Wait for it. And so, but. The thing is, I feel like Need for Speed is kind of over with. I mean, yeah, like, what else can you do with? You know, it's just about racing. I mean, I love yeah. racing. I like, I love racing movies and games, and so, but they're just so generic. The only game that I've played like recently that you know I keep coming back to like once in a while is the is Crew Two. It's just because of the huge map. Like, there's, I still haven't explored like the whole entire map, so there's so much stuff I still can do. I feel like that's what Need for Speed needs. Is this like a open world, 
type of you know a okay. big open world map and you know like and each city has their own story and like their own racers and like you know you become famous throughout the world or something i don't know and next you can be chased through out of states i mean like you could do so much stuff with that and that's the one thing that the crew too doesn't have is like you know cops and so i'm kind of curious if they you know if the crew if need for speed can do that you know you know you have big like chases through throughout the desert and all that yeah. type of stuff i think that would be cool um instead of like a, a, you know like and what's the one uh need for speed payback or something like that the very generic this is very generic um a lot of people like need for speed heat i played a little bit of it but it, at the same time still the same stuff like same um slapstick type of stuff but yeah. um i don't know yeah. Have you played any of the Need for Speed games? Or I only really played one. It was Need for Speed: The Run. It was back on like the PS3. Oh, I really okay. enjoyed it. I mean, I think it was like going across the country, and you started like I think you're trying to get to the number one first place, and you were starting well, obviously, but you were starting at like 100. Mm -hmm. So I mean, it was it was interesting. It was fun. I liked it, but I haven't played one since. Okay, my first one that I ever played was Most Wanted which was, I honestly really liked that one just because of the map. Um, the cars were fine. I mean, like, what made the f game fun is that you drive around the map to find cars and you unlock those cars. Okay. Um, which made it, you know, pretty cool and, like, fun. Because I think they're Ramonized. I don't know. Because what only hurts that game is that you only can use that – you unlock the car – but you have to keep driving back to that spot if you want to use that car again or something like that. It's been a oh, while since I played it. Kind of inconvenient. Um, and next, I played Need for Speed Rivals, which wasn't bad. It was just more. I think I think that was like the first online game I played for Need for Speed. Was Need for Speed Online before that? I, I have no idea. Um, but what really f you know made me want to play that game is that you could play as the cop. And I would oh, go really? around and chase other players and, you know, yeah, kind of ruin their day. So that was pretty fun. Um, okay. All right. Have you ever heard of a, game, a little game called uh, Fall Guys? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that game. Um, I haven't Epic played game, in a minute, but... Yeah, I haven't played a, in a while. I think I, I think I just got, you know, bored of it because it's just – they don't update the game. I mean, it's a fun game when you play with friends, but the it just gets repetitive because they don't constantly update the game. And like you play on these same maps that, and especially like yeah, you, know, um, you play like on like you know maps that you really don't like the most, and it's like I really yeah. don't. And so it just makes you stop playing it. And so and it says here that Epic Games has acquired Fall Guys, uh, um, uh, developer. Uh, I don't know how to say that uh medic can it i don't know what that is all about um but it says here epic uh, epic shared the news while also confirming your gameplay isn't changing the epic will continue uh, investing and in making great experience for players across platforms um your favorite co colorful beans will uh, still stumble uh through the chaos on pc playstation and soon Nintendo Switch and Xbox. So it's saying here that Epic Games has bought Fall Guys. Okay, so nice. I'm kind of curious if it's free. I haven't looked. And so probably not. I don't think it would be free. What's I mean, free? Fall Guys? Fall Guys. It is free. Is it free? No. It, well, I mean, it was free for the PlayStation month, but you had to pay. Oh, that is, you had to pay like okay. $20. Uh, I mean, I don't know. I mean, Fortnite was free. Epic Games made that, so uh, it still says fifteen to twenty dollars. Oh, um, I mean, it could end up being free because I mean, Epic Games—they have a lot of they micro. Would, they, would, they yeah, they would do that type of stuff, and so all their skins. And I feel like, I, but at the same time, would Epic Games really focus on this? I mean, it would still be the same team that worked on Fall Guys, I think, from the looks of the article. So nothing okay. would really change. Okay. So I think it's like a Disney type. I think Epic Games is like the Disney now, or they're going uh -huh. out and buying a bunch of prod uh, productions. Yeah, I got you. And so 
And, and I think this is just a way for Fall Guys to spread a little bit more. So sooner or later, we'll have them on, like, you know, the DS, if the DS will ever return, or the Wii. The <laughs> Wii 3, the Wii 2, or something like that. No, that's not happening. The Switch, the Switch took over both the DS and the Wii. Uh, I, I miss the Wii, honestly. Even though that their games it's suck, cool. I did miss the Wii. Like, I would play, like, Mario and Kart the- and, like, you know, the sports games. The Wii sports, yeah. It's, it was so fun. Um, okay. Uh, Aliens Fire Team is... So, you, have you heard of that? Aliens Fire uh, Fire Team? Um, it's a... If you know, like... He, yeah, um, I think, yeah, I think I watched a little bit of it. It's... Uh, what is it? Like a... How, what, is, it's not it, necessarily a bird's eye view, is it? What, I don't know it, how to describe do you, it. It's not... What, if... She, if you know, like, uh, what is it called? Left for Dead. It's something like that. Oh, um, that's, so is it first person? It's not first person. It's like okay. third person. So it's like yeah. it's on the lines of Left for Dead and Predator Hunting Grounds. It better be not Predator Hunting Grounds because screw that game. Um, that like what hurts that game is that the AI was so bad. So hopefully the Xenomorphs AI is so good and creepy because it says in the article here is that they're able to climb up walls and like you know the ceilings, you know, surround oh, yeah. you. And so that's pretty cool. And I'm a huge alien fan, so that makes me even excited. And like there's supposed to be a different bunch of classes and you know and different maps and like in depending on the map the and will change you would get different xeomorphs so that's even cooler so yes. like i'm ho- i don't know who this is um, being made by i think it's a small production team um let me see uh develop uh, develop cold iron studios i don't have you heard of them or no um uh, I think it's like uh, so it revealed, which was teased back in 2018, will take place over multiple mission story campaigns. Um, so, uh, so it's the uh, similar instruction uh, to Le- uh, Left for Dead or um, Back for Blood. Uh, it doesn't really say anything else, but it takes place 20 years after the original movie. So that's that's okay. good. I don't know if it says anything about a campaign. So I think it's just like, you know, like, the, you know, your multiplayer survival type of game, which is why I've been asking f- for a while because I'm currently playing through Alien Isolations and I re- and I played a little bit of like the survival bit of that game, uh, like, you know, like the survival mode. And I was like, you know, what would be cool if this was like, you know, co-op, you know, you uh, get your friends and you, you know, try to, you know, survive the Xeomorph. That's why, and so we're finally getting that. I'm hoping there's like a mode where you you're like in a small, if you're like a, on a small map, and like there's only one xenomorph around, and it's like very smart, like a very smart xenomorph. Oh, so you're and, gonna have to like hide and can't and, and alien. And that would be cool if they can give us a mode like that. I would love that mode because like yeah. there, I saw like a G mod type of video where. They would. Uh, it's basically that, like something like that. And so I want something like this. I'm happy that it's coming to console. It's not like a PC only thing. Like it. Like uh, what's it called? Um, what's that ghost hunting game that came out recently? Where ghost uh, hunting. I'm trying to think of it. I don't know what it's like. It's like foamy. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'm trying. To, I don't remember the actual name of it. Is it like Faz? Faz something? Something like that. I think. I but I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Um, so, you know, better not mess it up because Alien is like one of my favorite movies of all time. And if you do, I'm going to be honestly really pissed. Um, but, you know, what's your thoughts? I mean, I don't know too much about the game and I'm not like too big on those types of games. Survival like, those... horror. Well, no, I, I like survival horror, but from, from what I saw, it didn't look too horror like alien isolation i mean that that was definitely horror like i think it's gonna be less horror more action Mm -hmm. i mean well from the i think they want to you know show us the action you know to get more hype i think when you get right into it it's and you know you have your friends i think that's will make it scary okay and so 
I think you guys will have to be forced to work as a team. It's like, oh, yeah. wait, w- watch on your left, watch on your right type of deal. Because they from like, because it does, yeah. and, and the articles say they will be able to crawl on the ceilings, on the walls. And, you know, they, and I think there's at some point where it's, there's some will sneak up on you or something like that. So that's pretty cool if they can make that happen. Mm-hmm. Now, and, I assume you'll be able to kill them, right? Oh, yeah, obviously. Okay. I mean, Isn't it? isolation you couldn't right well i mean you you could scare it off but yeah okay not directly shoot at it um and the, and like there's more than one zeomores as well that's yeah. what they're saying okay um okay so marvel's avengers is getting a next gen upgrade <laughs> why uh, yeah why because they released uh-huh. a next gen trailer and no one bought the game. Like I feel like it didn't even it shouldn't it even shouldn't sell that much. If you really like Avengers, Marvel's Avengers, then I don't know, I don't know what type of games you play. You might play you know those Flash Barbie games. Then I don't know. <laughs> um, but you know this is really why I don't. I if it's free, then I'll download it. But if I have to pay another seven, but if I have to pay seventy dollars after your terrible beta, then no, because that's just giving you more money. Even though, which will set up our next topic, um, but it's like you didn't even try with the game. You gave us blank characters. I didn't even play the game. I just watched yeah. a couple um, videos on it. Oh. But you, we, you gave us you know playing characters. Our main character that we play as. It's annoying as hell. She like, even though her powers could be cool and she could become a cool character, she is I just didn't I didn't enjoy playing her. And like you tr- and you and you treat like the uh you treat the original Avengers powers so weak, like Hulk is so yes. boring to play as yes, the war should be knocking favorite. people, you know, through the sky, but you know, it's like oh, yeah. psh, psh, you know, bitch slap. And so, and it's just, it's like boring. You kill Captain America off, well, kill Captain America off at the beginning of the game when, and next you find out he faked his death. It's like, why? Why did you need to do that at all? It's like, and the enemies were so generic. I, and it just makes, it made, no, it makes no sense. This game is get for this game to get a next gen. And, and it's, no one's gonna buy it unless the people that really enjoyed it. I know, I know a few people that, well, one person that really likes it, and that's just, you know, bashing buttons on a controller, not taking any skills. So, um, yeah, don't don't buy it because then we're just gonna get more games like this, especially after Outriders demo. <clears throat> before we move on to that because that's our next topic but what's your thoughts on you know marvel's avengers i mean it it definitely my hopes got up way too high my expectations were way too high my hope i was just let down by it a lot Mm -hmm. like i was expect i was like hoping for free roam you know i was hoping to feel powerful like like you said like the hulk he doesn't feel powerful like just like a little goon it takes what like five or six hits or even even more like it should just one punch and they're they should fly back, you know? And yeah. like he can barely jump. Like the Hulk should be able to leap great distances. I was like really hoping for something like ultimate destruction almost, you know? Yeah, and we and got like, he's uh, so slow too. Oh yeah. Oh, and we just get gosh. like a destiny ripoff, sort of. And I don't like yeah. Destiny already. Um, and so and what really hurts the game is because they focus on like, you know, the co-op side so much to make sure that works. That's really buggy still yeah and so i feel like if they just you know give us a single player game that yeah, i would have liked it that's what i wanted because like you know the game lags and crashes all the time because you get because of the live service that you're giving the game yeah and so it hurts it and so and the dlcs they have added like i mean they've only added kate bishop so far it really was it was not good the story was just it was just awful the levels i mean they were so repetitive yeah the the levels are so generic yeah i know um, like the only thing that had unique stuff was the campaign some of it was actually pretty cool but 
like uh, you played the game didn't you yeah yeah okay so give so with with me not playing the game give the audience like your thoughts on the game and like um you know uh like this and you could spoil the story all you want i don't care like what's like <laughs> like what's your, like the standpoint of the story wise so i mean kamala khan she was at a day as a child and that's when she got her power she's an inhuman i mean most people probably know that. Yeah, so, I mean, she's kind of just has powers, like, throughout her, and she's, she's hiding, hiding her powers, but then she, I guess, I think she, from what I recall, she gets noticed, and then, like, people go after her. Somebody messages her, and later on, you realize that, that it was Tiny Dancer, and later on, you realize it was actually Black Widow who's trying to meet up with her, but she, like, she eventually meets um the Hulk first. She kind of chases her. Like, it's got some pretty cool moments, and I gotta disagree with you on hating Kamala Khan, Miss Marvel. I actually really enjoyed the character. I never read any of her comics. She's like the new recent comic, I believe. Yeah. As well. And I just didn't I, I don't know if it was the voice actress or her writing. I just didn't like her. I found her annoying. Maybe if I read the comment, I might not see her annoying because it's me reading it. It's not someone else, you know, reading lines. And yeah. so I don't know. I just I found her very annoying. I didn't care for her character at all. I feel like she was just, you know, a ripoff of one of the Fantastic Four type of deal. Because I didn't know she exists until that game, until after I played. I was like, who the hell is this? Instead of focusing on, like, you know, Iron Man and all those guys that we really care about. Because I don't think you couldn't, I don't think you could play as Hawkeye. You can now, though, in March. There's a Clint Barton DLC. (laughs) Whatever. Honestly, I, I just wish they could would put the same amount of effort they put into the campaign into the DLCs. That way, the story would be better, just be a little bit more fun to play. I mean, still not that great, but a little bit better. I mean, but, it doesn't matter how many effort you put in the story if the levels are still the same, no matter what. At, well, out. I but, mean, if they put more effort and changed the levels and like had cool set pieces, you know, and just. I mean, it's just bashing I don't buttons. Know that's all i mean yeah the gameplay is not that fantastic but i mean and so and just speaking of terrible games and i didn't know about this until i was like an hour in after like like just after suffering through this game out um outriders i played like the demo i mean you have a video sort of on it on yeah and so i played like about an hour of the game was like this is really long for a demo it's like why does like why is this so laggy like why like because i was getting ptsd for like like i I did a video of this on my other channel i haven't uploaded yet i'm hoping i can get it out sometime soon because in the in my video it's like this reminds me a lot of destiny and like marvel's avengers i was like like saying that throughout the video was like i was like why why like why am i getting like this flashback to that and next at the end i look i'm like okay you know what i need to look up who made this game i was like square i was like square next or like, i don't know <laughs> how to say their names like square next like sounds familiar and next i clicked on their names like okay f- fantasy i was like and next i look at it and see marvel's avengers there i was like that explains why how shitty this demo is <laughs> okay all right that makes sense and so and after that i was like i'm done because it it, like one you literally gave like a character death and your demos like that ruins the whole entire point of a demo you're not supposed to give anything like that big away and that's what they did with you know captain america and their demo for marvel's avengers you know they gave his death away even though they did give his death away in the trailer it they're mm. for one the reason why i don't like the demo it's very generic again it's very like the characters are so plain and they get mad like literally get mad at each other so what happens in the demo is that like they sort of get portrayed by another person part of the team and so and our player like our main character gets put in like quiet like was like sleep what's it called cryo sleep i don't know how to say it um cryogenic like something like that and so and like they and he goes like to sleep and he wakes up like i don't know 10 years later or something like that and next they you know and he meets up 
with the person that puts them in and in, in that stage um 10 years later and it's like it's like sorry i have a war that i have to go win it's like uh, i didn't get to sleep like you know how long you did sorry to ruin your sleep it's like you're the one that put him in there what why, why are you getting mad at him for and like the even like the villain uh even like one of the enemies um because he is like captured even like you know shoot i'm like i'm like my character is like getting all rowdy you know getting pissed off and like, he shoots the other guys like because uh, there's like a nerd um uh, prisoner with them and they see the prisoner stands up for one thing and like see gets shot it's like why did you shoot him i'm like literally over here throwing a fit and he says one word and he gets shot it makes absolutely no sense and like his motives are, like it's you know i don't know it's stupid the dialogue the dialogue doesn't line up with the characters like you know what he's saying because he like he says one thing and next and next okay I don't know, like the lag dialogue, dialogue thing. And that really got under my skin. It's like, I hate that. Why can't you get like that simple little thing correct? And so, I don't know. What, I, you haven't played, because I, I saw your video and your yours crashed on you. So I don't think you got that. You didn't yeah. even get that far. You got to no. the point where you started to learn the game a little bit. Yeah, so I only played, yeah, 27 minutes of it. So I had only a little bit of gunplay, like two minutes of it with that like tutorial almost. That's all I got in 27 minutes. Like Mm -hmm. in the first like 30 minutes of the game, there's only like two minutes of combat, really. Yeah. And then it just like crashed. Half half like the demo that like so if you if the if this demo was like an hour long, that's where I stopped. I like you got to the hub. That's where it stopped. It was like half of the like that's where it started. like at the hub, like where you have the powers, like, you know. Yeah, like that's when you, because the you, you get to the hub after the you got your powers, and like so, like no, it should have started up with him waking up in that cryo sleep thing. I was like, okay. like why did why did it why did it not open up on this? Like if it and if this should open up with like um if they, uh in the game actual game as well. It's like because this would just give so much mystery behind his character. It's like wait, who's okay? Who's this? And like why is he in the state? And I was like, and so, but half the demo basically for me was just cut scenes and me sitting and looking around, like doing absolutely nothing. And whenever I actually get to do stuff, the enemies are so dumb. It, it makes absolutely no sense. I only died once because I didn't know what I was doing. I was just running past through all of them. It's like, you know what? Oh, you yeah. guys can't even hit me. I'm just going to run through. It's like, where am I supposed to go? It's like, I have to kill them all, don't I? And next, when I did that, you know, the, these like pa- things were blocking me, lift in front of me. It's like that's that's like the number one thing that people hate in a game when with dumb AI and you have to kill them. Like literally every single little, you literally have to kill every single AI to move on. Wow, that's that's kind of ridiculous. Uh, and I didn't even get to experience any of that because it crashed and it did not auto save at all. So I would have to start all over, and I was not about to do that. I don't even. I don't even know how yours crashed. Your. I don't know. Was, I was about to get into like some actual. I think gunplay. I saw another video where you fight that beast for the first time, it, but it was like loading at like eighty percent and just crashed. Gamer app error. <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah, like it was like five loading screens like in the first 10 minutes or something like that um, it's like at like because like they literally have to have a loading screen to load into a cutscene. it's like really this oh, is ps1 God. this is ps1 <laughs> yeah <sighs> jesus um so gta 5 on ps5 xbox series x will uh, have new <laughs> features um so honestly I guess that's cool, I guess, but it's like, mm-hmm. do, does that mean, like, do, does that mean I get like a free GTA 5 update? You know, like how they so. do, because I don't want to buy GTA 5 again, because I have it on, no. as I have the PS4 version, so, and at the same time, I really don't play GTA that much anyways, because it, it's just, I kind of got sick and tired of just, you know, walking down the street and getting shot for no reason. And I, you know, kept getting bull- like bullied by these, like, you know, players that, you know, somehow made mods on PlayStation, you know, have all these stuff. Oh. And so I'm just, just give me GTA 6. I know they're working on it. <laughs> yeah. But it's not going to come out until like 
maybe 2023 or something like that. And so, I don't know. What's your, like, you have a PS5. Um, I mean, like, yeah. what's your, like, would you, would you, if you had to pay, if you had to pay GTA, would you even p- play the PS5 version of GTA 5? I mean, if I have to pay like seventy dollars for it or something like that, or sixty, Just I mean, like a couple no, I'm not new paying. features. If they give no. us new store, like a couple more new stories with it, like exclusive PS5 stories, maybe. Hey, I mean, maybe, yeah. Because I mean, I don't see really what else they could do. They already added first person with the PS4. I mean, of course, there will be graphical updates. Now, I hope they kind of they use the Red Dead Redemption Two engine. I mean, and. Isn't it all the it's same? I mean, it probably is, but I guess the updated version. So mm-hmm. I mean, with the graphics and like the weather, like in the like, I would love to see like if they oh, brought yeah, in like like, ram- like, snowy, like, like weather, snow. Like, oh yeah, that would be cool. Yeah, because like you know, every year they do like you know the Christmas snow type of stuff. It's like, why can't you just you know make this like a normal thing where it just snows some. Yeah, you know, no, at some people. part of them, you know, it would be cool because in like Red Dead, like on one part of the map, like if you play online, like one part of the map, it'll rain, and it's like, oh, it's rain, oh, yeah. it's like real, and like your next to your friends, like, not, it's not rain in my area because that would be cool if GT, if they can do like a GTA update for that. Um, uh, yeah. I don't know, even fix even more bugs, maybe take out a couple of items that piss off a lot of people um give us give us a, like a big even maybe do like a ps5 and xbox exclusive like big um dlc type of update like story update yeah that'd be cool because then i'll just pour, push even more of those like, ps4 like old gen people to get a ps5 or xbox um so i don't know yeah but just give me gta 6 or maybe like you know GTA Six DLC story something like that in here like hinting at something for GTA Six. Yeah. Uh, um. But. Yeah, I don't know. Is I think that's everything that we talked about. Like, is there anything that you want to talk about? Oh wait, I just realized the the PlayStation VR. VR two. I, I was about yeah. to forget about that. <laughs> oh. Okay. So. Uh, you know more about this than I do, so I'm just gonna set this up, and you can take it away. Yeah. Um, so when the PS when the PS5 was announced, people been speculating, okay, are we gonna get a PSVR two? And they kind of confirm it, and kind of don't like at that point. But recently, they confirmed it, if I'm yeah. correct. And so, yeah. and before you could like you know have your old PS4, and but you had to uh, not PS4, but your old PS. Uh, vr and you but you had to go get an adapter for the ps5 for it yeah. you can get it for free from the playstation yeah, website it, you just have to send your like barcode for it yeah it's, like from the box or something like that and so and, and so people would just been like what uh when are, when are we gonna get a ps vr too and with all these um playstation vr games being announced like um doom 3 vr and there's some other VR games I don't know. I don't know that much about. Um, uh, and so, the, like, there must be like a uh, like a PSVR two. And so, I mean, you take it away. You know a lot more of this than I do. So, yes. Do you have the VR? Or have you played the I, VR? That's the only thing I haven't got from like because I am a big PlayStation fan, and that's like the only thing I haven't got like that PlayStation uh, promotes. And so, and okay. I'm, I'm probably going to work on getting one this summer if they announce like a release date for the PS uh, VR 2. I don't think that we're going to get one this year. Oh, it's, yeah. Probably next year, we're probably going to get a release date for it or some promo for it. Um, because from what I, because you did a video on it and you did like yeah. a breakdown and you said um, like, maybe like it's like somewhere in the near future maybe like 2022 no not 22 but 23 will, uh, will come out or something like that maybe not not anytime soon so i mean in the playstation blog they actually introduced like a lot of cool details i'm actually like pretty excited for some of this stuff so like you know probably know how the place original playstation vr has like so many cords it's way too messy it's just it's so inconvenient like i only play it like 
every now and then because it's just so, so difficult it's, to it's set a, up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's just uh, and that's like the ox, uh, ocular, yeah. ocular riff. Yeah, it's really there. annoying, but it has like this big beefy processing unit. But this time, the PSVR2 will only have one cord that connects directly to the PS5. So the processing unit will be inside the headset itself. So, I mean, that'll be cool. I mean, it's still got a cord, but it's one cord. So that's yeah, definitely it's improving. Cord. It's not wireless like the Oculus Quest 2, but. Well, well, it's still like an early stage. So who knows? It might come out. I mean, wireless. it could end up being. But I mean, yeah. at the same time, you would probably need like a little thing to, you know, pour, like, you know, like for like Bluetooth headphones, you would have to um, plug it in some way with a wireless adapter. And oh, so, yeah. and that would probably take a back slot for your PlayStation. And there's like only, I believe, two USB back slots on the PS5. Oh, uh, there's three. Well, oh, yeah. Two USB black backs and then one and USB one, the front. one USB-C. Yeah. yeah. And but, so, yeah. So, um, yeah. All right. So, the next thing was the new controllers. They're actually making new controllers, which are going to use dual sense capabilities. So, haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. Okay. That's cool. I was about because, to ask that. Yeah. I was like, are they going to have like, re- like you know, because they, they're changing the de- design for them as well. And like, there's like yeah. theories of like, they're going to look like, because like guys, there's one that I saw where they, you know, like with the Oculus Rifts uh, Quest, I believe, like they have this right re- like wrap around on your hand, like a yeah. half circle, and that's, there's some ones of those, and like you know the ball on top. Um, so that that would be actually kind of cool. Hopefully, um, I haven't really, I don't know that much for because I, I don't know, like. Are they even the original ones that good? Like, what's the, what, like, what do you expect to be different for like the controls? Oh, I mean, I think it'll be better. I hope, it, I hope it has an analog stick on it. That way, you can just move around because I hated having to just jump around. Like, you can't really move with the PS moves. Mm-hmm. I mean, and, like a lot of VR games still have that, even for the Quest yeah, type I know. of stuff. And okay. So, but at the same time, because uh, they hopefully they come out with where it's not like, you know, you need a camera for it because you need for the VR, you need like a VR cam for it to so it lines you up. Hopefully they yeah. come up with something where like, you know, I can't work. Is it like the Akio Drift was the one where you had you were able to put like, you know, sensors on the corner of your walls and actually were able to walk around or something? I don't know. I don't I don't remember what they were called but something like that or maybe where you can with a quest where you can outline how far you could you your like zone is hopefully they can do something like that and not just like a straight camera where it's just sitting and looking around and doing you know that hopefully because hopefully this is what i expect for the vr because i played some vrs and but what i expect for the ps vr is like how are they going to beat you know oculus uh, you know oculus like our like the number one vr company that's doing pretty well like how are they going to yeah. outbeat that what they need to know. do is come out with something very new like the haptic feedback is probably going to you know do something add a little bit more to it oh yeah most definitely and so but for like the actual headset like you need to come up with a something that will be insane maybe like if they say it's like oh it's, you know forget about the you know it's going to be wireless and you don't need you know a camera to set stuff up you can just walk anywhere you want you can walk <laughs> maybe like 10 feet or so or something like that i don't know yeah i don't know i'm just really excited about those new controllers because the ps move controllers those are ps3 controllers so oh like, yeah yeah I'm, I'm excited about that um and that, that's, I think, about all they covered. I mean, they said that it's not going to be released anytime soon, but... So, I mean, maybe 2023? I what don't do, know. What but... do you think the design could be for the headset? The headset? Yeah. I mean, it, so it's like one cord, so... 
and it's going to have a processing unit in it. So I don't know if it's going to somehow be bigger. Yeah, I hope yeah. not. I hope not. Because is it because there isn't supposed to be like the processor in the back of it? Maybe. I mean, um, but I don't know. Is it is the like the PSVR comfortable to wear? Like how like what's like? I mean, can they do not- even better comfortable? for the psvr2 yeah i would like to i would like to see something so the psvr i could always like see like the bottom of the floor like it didn't like there are these like i mean i guess rubber flaps that you kind of try to put around your eyes but it doesn't always work so i like and i try to tighten it to my head but i always see the bottom of the floor and it just kind of breaks the immersion so i hope there's something that kind of just i don't know like like maybe something like that you can wrap around here to tighten it better I don't okay. know. All right. Because. Um, hmm. yeah, I, I don't know. That's basically all I can say for it. I mean, it, I'm glad that they are doing a PSVR 2 instead of like saying like, oh, just buy the PSVR 1. Yeah. And, so, you know, you know, you get an adapter with it for the PS5 because the PS5 definitely needs its own VR for sure. Oh, yeah. And um. And maybe this will be good for them to work even more on the adapter side because like there's, you know, stories on like the adapter breaking and all that type of stuff. So who knows? Maybe the adapter might even be better than the actual PS5 controller. And I could be like, okay, well, we'll send out even more that, like the ones like that for it. Because if they can make the adapters even better, that will make insane VR experience for sure. And and they definitely need to come out with better games. And that's like the reason why I don't have a PSVR. There's not a lot of PS games for it. I mean, like you can play Resident Evil 7, but. I don't know. It was so weird to me. Like the controls were, I don't know. I, I couldn't I figure just, them out. It's just, I think what ruins the experience is you just holding like a normal controller. Yeah. And so, and like, and like the two controllers that you get for with it are not that good. So hopefully that this you know maybe sets maybe this sets competition for even with xbox maybe xbox is like okay we we need to possibly get our own vr as well and so anyway guys thank you very much for watching um bryce's um stuff will be down in the description he has a gaming channel um he also has an instagram and twitter so go check out all that stuff um so yeah anyway hope you guys enjoyed the episode and like always i'll see you guys next episode bye guys